is up movie nights night batman here with another trailer reaction so i was actually about to go to sleep it's actually really late at night right now uh but then i got a message from my friend who just let me know that the cruella trailer has finally hit uh we did get a little advance notice that it would be hitting now and um i didn't know the exact time but then it's finally here this is a movie i was actually a little bit curious about a movie that would be explaining cruella deville's early days you have a character who is this evil uh, from the 101 Dalmatians movie and 102 Dalmatians movie, um, you know, and even the the animated movies as well. So it, like, it was interesting to know that they were gonna kind of go this route. Really wondering how they would approach that and how they could make a movie about this character in turning her into either a hero of the story or even an anti-hero. So um, this is starring Emma Stone and she is so great. And I have actually also been really curious after I saw that picture of her holding the Dalmatian dogs with her two henchmen behind her. So now that we got a trailer, let's jump in and see our first look at uh, Disney's Cruella. From the very beginning, I realized I saw the world differently than everyone else. That didn't sit well with some people. But I wasn't for everyone. I guess they were always scared that I'd be a psycho. <laughs> I like the look of that Disney logo. new opportunities and I was ready to make a statement <laughs> oh nice foreshadowing girl I'm one of the one that needs to be not as the same girl I am woman hear me roar Kill someone or what? I was born crazy. Born bad. And a little bit mad. Wow. Okay, I'm pretty sure that by the time I upload this video, it's going to be pretty late, but I wouldn't be surprised if everyone's going to be saying that this really looks like Joker. And that's not a bad thing. Honestly, I am really taken aback by this trailer. I think it looks great. My interest just skyrocketed to levels I didn't think would be possible for this movie. You have my curiosity. But now you have my attention. The casting for Emma Stone as Cruella de Vil is so perfect. I've been just reading more on the synopsis. This movie actually takes place in the 1970s and it actually does mention that it's kind of like a those early uh, punk rock uh, revolution kind of days. So uh, that kind of explains the kind of style they're going for. And um, what I also like though is the cinematography of it, the color grading of it, the color filters. Um, it gives us sort of this real, this very real world kind of gritty look. And what's so interesting, again, like I mentioned, it really does look like a trailer for, like it reminds me of the trailer for Joker. Uh, it's a very strong origin story. You can tell like there's something not right in the head with this character. Uh, and I love how when you listen to the voiceover, she even acknowledges that. Uh, she even kind of relishes in it. The fact that she could come off as a bit of a psycho to other people. And it's crazy that this is a freaking Disney movie. I mean, if you actually just remove that Disney logo from the Cruella title and even from that opening logo, this really would legit not even come off as a regular Disney movie. I mean, I would think that this is like a Cruella de Vil prequel movie made by a, uh, another com movie company that Disney gave the rights to because this feels pretty adult. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if like, this is really pushing the boundaries on the rating. But what I like is that it's, it's showing that she's definitely gonna be doing like some uh, uh, illegal activities going on. Uh, and I'm liking how a lot of the, it has like a lot of craziness to it. It looks like there's like a hint of anarchy to it. I mean, come on, we see a burning building in here. Like, her with her makeup and everything, it's not as refined as how she is in 101 Dalmatians, which is actually fine because it's like, you know, she's younger here, she's more bra she's more brash. I really think that this has a chance of surpassing um, Disney's recent live action movies. I really think that there's a, a good shot of this being like, probably like, because th this looks like Disney's version of Joker. So I wouldn't be surprised if this has like almost Joker level types of success, which I'm hoping it does. I'm, lo I'm loving the greediness of this. You know, it looks, I mean, Disney's a family company, but 
for them to kind of push out a trailer for this movie that looks like it's more catering to actual adults that's a really interesting thing and i'm glad that it, they, it looks like they're not watering it down i like how they're not making it clear, like obvious that cruella's gonna be a straight out good person this trailer is already showing and proving without a doubt that she's gonna be the villain of some other people's stories or kind of like that loose screw kind of um you know um like just that wild card that's gonna be going on but it looks like it's gonna be a fun ride and i really can't wait so if you guys would like to check out the trailer without my reaction the link to that is in the description below what do you guys think about cruella are you excited for it are you liking it do you also think that it might look like joker what other vibes of um uh, like what other kind of homages does it pay to other movies for you that maybe you think it does or just any other thoughts you guys have about the trailer please feel free to share them in the comment section below and i'll definitely check that out so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed cruella coming out soon um if Disney can pull this kind of greediness with their other future live action adaptations or, you know, attempts at creating a prequel for their characters, I am so down. Really can't wait for Cruella. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. As always, please be safe. Please take care. Please be awesome and be yourself. And until next time, later. Sorry. I'm Cruella. No.